Hey everyone! Today we're breaking down one of the most important fundamentals in HVAC, the basic refrigeration cycle. It's simple, powerful, and essential to understand if you want to grasp how air conditioning and refrigeration work. Refrigeration cycle has four main components. Two of them are responsible for changing the pressure of the refrigerant, and the other two are heat exchangers that either absorb or release heat. Let's list them. Compressor, condenser, TXV, evaporator. These four components form a continuous loop, and the refrigerant flows through them in a closed cycle. The compressor takes in low-pressure, low-temperature vapor refrigerant and compresses it. As a result, it discharges the refrigerant as a high-pressure, high-temperature vapor. This is where the cycle begins. The compressor is often called the heart of the system because it keeps the refrigerant moving and boosts its energy level. It's also important to note that this process increases both the pressure and the temperature, preparing the refrigerant to release heat in the next stage. Next, the high-pressure, high-temperature vapor enters the condenser. Here's where the first phase change happens, from vapor to liquid. The condenser acts as a heat exchanger, allowing the refrigerant to release heat to the surroundings, typically outside air. This process happens at a constant pressure and is known as the saturated state, where the refrigerant begins to condense. By the time it exits the condenser, the refrigerant is now a high-pressure, high-temperature liquid. This is also why the condenser is usually located outside. It needs access to cooler ambient air to help remove the heat. The high-pressure liquid then flows into the TXV means thermal expansion valve. This component has a very small opening, which causes a sudden drop in pressure as the refrigerant passes through. As a result, the refrigerant becomes a low-pressure, low-temperature liquid. This pressure drop is crucial because it allows the refrigerant to boil and absorb heat in the next step. Now this low-pressure, low-temperature liquid enters the evaporator coil, usually located indoors. Inside the evaporator, the refrigerant absorbs heat from the surrounding air, typically from inside a room or a building. As it absorbs heat, it boils and changes state from liquid to vapor, another phase change. The result is low-pressure, low-temperature vapor, which is exactly what the compressor needs to start the cycle again. This stage is why we feel cool air indoors. The evaporator is taking heat out of the air. That vapor now returns to the compressor, and the whole refrigeration cycle begins again. It's a closed loop, and it keeps repeating as long as the system is operating. This simple yet brilliant process is what makes your AC or refrigerator work, moving heat from one place to another. Keep in mind, the condenser and evaporator are both phase-changing components, meaning they involve the refrigerant turning from liquid to vapor or vice versa. The compressor and TXV just change pressure, not phase. This cycle is based on thermodynamic principles, especially the second law of thermodynamics, which allows heat to move from a lower energy state to a higher one with help from mechanical work. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.